What is up dudes and dudettes, welcome back to All The Mods 7, guys. We're basically playing 1.18 Minecraft here, but we got some stuff we gotta do today because last episode we determined that finding diamonds is actually very difficult and what would make it easier to find said diamonds would be to mine bigger areas. So, we're gonna be testing two things out today, the hammer and the drill. Now, I'm pretty sure we're gonna be using the hammer because here it does say it is an AOE pickaxe, which is exactly what we want. So that is going to be the goal for us today. Uh, so we're going to need to make some... I didn't want to do all that. Oh, well. We're going to need to make some uh, paper. Um, we need a little bit more. Yes, so there we go. And then now for this guy, we don't have any sticks. <gasps> oh, no. All right, there we go. Now we can go ahead and make the hammer blueprint. Okay, so we got that. I also went ahead and it's raining. Haha, -ha, it's not raining anymore. Perfect. So we can go ahead and test this out. Um, now I'm pretty sure something... Oh, wait, there it was. All right, so this gives us the iron hammerhead. Okay, and so then if we go like this yes here we go we have an iron hammer uh, pull so it's magnetic flexible uh, occasionally takes less damage okay um, let's see is there any other kind of stick we can make um, let's see what are you netherwood stick uh, nope don't have that yet uh, let's 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 take a, a search into silent gear Okay, so what do they have for sticks? We can make a a tool rod. Okay. Bone block, bronze ingot, copper. Ooh, let's make one out of copper. Okay. Um, we need to make a reusable one. So here, that seems pretty simple to me. All right, so here we go. We haven't even smelted up any copper yet. I we should probably get on that. Yeah. So copper goes here, which is great. Um, I almost regret making the iron one. Can say we go like, ooh, you get four for that, okay. And then if we go blue, that's blue. Blueprint, can we make this out of diamond? Because that would be the ultimate flex. Oh, we can, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and make an iron one and then we're going to go ahead and make a diamond one. All right, so traits. What do we have? Brittle two gear sometimes takes extra damage. All right. Um, advanced tool tips. Are those on? What is that? The code again. F3H. That's what we need. F3H. Okay, so now, yep. What kind of durability we got? It doesn't even say. Let's go ahead and let's test these guys out. So I assume that the diamond one is going to be a little bit faster. Um, but we'll go ahead and test it out down here. All right, so we're down here in the mine, and let's see. So iron. Okay, so it doesn't mine the ores, which is okay. So that's the speed of iron, which is great, great and all. But diamond is a little bit faster. Paired this up with, uh, like, placing torches and stuff like that, I bet you... This is a great way to mine for ores. Look at that. We already got a bunch of redstone. We got coal. Oh, it mined the coal. Okay. That's good to see. All right. I already... I'm, I'm digging this a lot. What is that? Lead ore. Okay. What are you? Zinc. Oh, we mined the zinc instantly. Now, I assume we can enchant these. Is that what goes on? Uses... Um, we can also use it to smash things in our inventory, it looks like. Pebbles. Glowing dust, okay. Uh, anvil, we can put enchantments on it, that's good. Uh, ooh, okay. All right, so I do need one more piece of paper to go ahead and create uh, the drill blueprint, but I'm pretty sure we also need the body. All right, we can go ahead and make this real quick. We have everything but this little guy. And okay, so for this dude, let's go ahead and hit A so we can keep going back to it. Uh, we need gold. We don't have gold smelted up. I have found gold, I believe. I don't believe I have found gold. Uh, never mind. Uh, <laughs> that is not here. So, we really can't make the drill. And the thing I'm worried most about is 
because this is super multi drills, uh, it looks like it requires a battery. Uh, and we do not have said battery. Uh, but we do have raw crimson ore, like I was saying we did. So instead of that, I think we're going to hold off on doing that for a couple of episodes. We do have the AOE drill, our hammers, which, by the way, they do have durability. This has 3590, and this has 500 durability. So we have made almost back what we mined for the iron. I always feel like when you use a tool, if you don't get back, like say we make iron, if you don't get back seven iron, like raw iron, uh, then it's kind of a waste. But if you get it back, then it like pays for itself. But I want to go ahead and create an official building for us because let's be honest, uh, this sucks. This place is not good. So I'm going to go ahead and mine a bunch of trees. I've been doing a little bit of exploring around here and I would like to see if I can find some spruce trees because I want to get some spruce wood and possibly even dark oak. But the problem is we don't have food. Our food resources are very low. So we need to go ahead and tackle that first. Now there is a cow over there and there is a cow over there. So I think a good starting spot would be some meat. But let's us see here. Okay, so my plan is to... Oh, I already had... Uh, oh, I killed a baby zombie that was that was kind of like a boss, and he dropped he dropped one of these Efficiency 2 Unbreaking 2 books, and it's pretty neat. So what I want to go ahead and do is we're going to locate a spot, and we're going to put a giant field there for our stuff, our foods... Um, what do we have in here? We have a cave I haven't explored. Ooh, we got some coal down there. Coal is very valuable this early on. And we got a beehive. We got to go ahead and can shear that quick. But I think over here, I'm going to go ahead and fill this little area in. And, ooh, another cave. We're going to go ahead and put the field there. Okay, so we can go out four blocks in either direction from the water source. And these will all become hydrated. Torch. Uh, but what we are going to do is have a whole bunch of these. So we got to make sure each of these can be hydrated because this is going to go out quite a ways. And then we're going to kind of seal this off. But it's going to look really good and will give us plenty of food, which I am very excited about. So I don't want these to be, you know, completely lined up. I want it to kind of seem a little natural. Okay, so I think this is a good start for now. We're gonna go ahead and start planting our seeds. Let's see what do we have here. We got grape seeds, okay. Even though these are more of a vine and shouldn't really be a seed, but that's fine. All right, we got some kale here. Uh, pepper seeds, now each of these are gonna have their own, whoa. That music is loud. Now each of these are gonna have their own row here. We got some tea seeds, perfect. We'll make some tea later. Uh, we got some broccoli, I'm personally not a big fan. Sweet potato, those are good. Uh, we got some oats, that makes sense. Uh, lettuce, all right, and then we got some strawberries. Strawberries are delish. Mustard seeds, a mustard is a very good sandwich thingamabobber. And then we have our wheat seeds, which we need over here. Now this one's gonna have a little bit more room because, you know, we need the wheat. Ah, let's grab some more stuff. And yeah, and so this whole area, I want to go ahead and turn into like an area like this. Um, sweet potato over here. There you go, sweet taters. We got green beans. Green beans are going to go over here. Um, we can't eat raw zinc, unfortunately. Chili. I tried to eat uranium earlier. I thought it looked like a piece of cabbage or something. It was not. Don't try to eat that, ladies and gentlemen. It's not good for you. We got some tea leaves. What are you used for? Making making tea. Cool. Not yet eaten. What does it taste like? I don't know. Probably pretty good. Okay. So we got these guys growing over here. Now let's work on an area that we're going to build. Now we're probably going to just tear down this place and build around it. Um... But I'm going to go ahead and drop this down by one block. All right, so this thing is all dropped down here. And now we're going to kind of set up a little bit of a border going around. 
uh, to kind of, you know, keep us safe at night. And it's going to wrap all the way around. No mobs are going to be able to get through it, which is exactly what we want because we're we're not really geared up for any of this just yet. Uh, it's not going to be too big. We'll probably expand it out sooner, um, but we just need a rough shape here. Um, so let's go ahead. And I'm just going pretty random at this point. Uh, and then this will be the main entrance here. Um, so what we're going to do is a couple of these. We are going to stack up like so. Okay, and then we're going to kind of rough it up a little bit with some stairs uh, like this. Kind of, you know, placing these random. We're going to skip that one. Uh, that can be a stair. That won't be a stair. That can be a stair. We'll make that a stair. Okay, so this is what we got here. Very, very rough, uh, but from the inside, you know, we can add in a little bit of detail that I think will make it look really good. What I'm trying to do is instead of just making my build, you know, very functional like I always have, I'm trying to mix it up and, you know, kind of build better. Um, so that's what we are doing here. Uh, so we can go like this and then possibly you know, like this and kind of, you know, mix it up. Um, there we go. Okay, and then we're gonna work on, well, I, I need to do some more here, but you guys can see how it's going. It's gonna look pretty cool, and then we get to put a house in here, which will be great. And we're gonna really utilize the space that we have. So, for the gate, um, I think we'll go ahead and just use cobblestone wall because that's what we have. Uh, I really would like to, you know, not use cobblestone walls, but you know, it's all we got for temporarily. All right, now we need to make two fence gates. Perfect. All right, so these are gonna go here like so. Now we can walk on top of this and then we can jump up here, perfect. All right, and so then this will go here. Then we take our slabs. One, a two. Oop, two low. Okay, so that is gonna be the entrance maybe. Yeah, that looks better. That looks kind of okay. <laughs> <laughs> that would look better. But anyway, this is going to act as the main entrance, and then we're going to light everything up in here. Do we have? We do have the light overlay mod. Perfect. So we can make sure that our base is 100% mob proof. Okay. So we got one spot there. We'll go ahead and put a slab here. Uh, let's turn that off because it's causing a bit of frame rate problems. And so then we can go like that, maybe like this, and then that on top. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. That looks a little wonky. That's a bit better. Ooh, that did something interesting there. Perfect, okay. So we have our little area. We're perfectly safe within here except from phantoms, but no mobs can get in because I haven't you know, done anything on the outside. Uh, so if we come around here, just looks like a wall. We'll probably go ahead and put maybe some fences on, on top of it or something like that. But you know, looking, looking really, really good. All right, something else we could do around here is randomly put some fences on top of things. Uh, like the full block, that's a slab. Slab, I think I'm gonna remove this guy and put a wall here. You know, kinda, you know, add some more um, randomness to it. Yeah, we can put, we can put a wall here. 
Okay, yeah, so that worked out really good, though most of them ended up being on the same spot, so I might need to raise it up a little bit. But yeah, this is our, our little uh, safe haven area. We can put some pressure plates on the inside of here so that we can just walk out and it'll close behind us automatically. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Do I have enough wood to do that? Oof, I've only got enough for one. That is okay. So if we do this, yep, there we go, and then we open it. Perfect, all right. So let's go check on our food over here, see what's going on. All right, look at that. We got some stuff growing sweet. All right, so you are mature. You're matured. Uh, mustard. Mustard is good. Mustard seeds, bam. We got some, some oats, so put those here. We got some pepper. Oh, these are actual oats. Let's eat these oats. Nope, didn't unlock another heart just yet. Pepper seeds. Okay, so one pepper guy. Then we got two of those. We got mustard, pepper. We got soybean. Do I have any of these guys? Strawberry. Nope, so it looks like soybeans get to go there. Already grew up to 14%. That was kind of neat. Okay, we're also going to fill in that lava eventually, but our place is looking really good. I'm a big fan of how this has turned out. But I need to go ahead and do some mining and chopping of some trees, so I will be back in just a moment. Dudes and dudettes, I found something kind of crazy. Uh, so in my journey this way, I kind of went exploring for a bit, like I said I would. found a cool mesa. I got slayed by a Komodo dragon. Uh, ooh. That was really, really weird because he like shot me with poison and then he just like wrecked my face. But we ended up finding a village here actually pretty close to the base and then I believe a sand village. Yeah, sand village right here. So we got two villages pretty close, which I'm very happy about. But I found this grove over here and it's really weird because there are these one by one dark oak trees. I've never seen anything like it. And we went ahead and got a whole bunch of dark oak logs and some spruce logs because there were some spruce trees in there as well. Same thing. So I've been growing these two. I used all of the bone meal I pretty much had. We have two bone meal left. I think I only had like 20 when I started or 21. So we have the building materials for our base here, uh, which I'm super duper excited about. I also expanded the storage a little bit more. Uh, we have an iron chest up on the roof here, but we're actually going to be building the house around and I did build this in a very specific way and check it out We have a water feature over here that we're gonna be putting some stuff in just you know to make it feel pretty cool We might put a few fish in here and stuff like that. So um, but Just enjoying everything we can so here we go um, Block placing is uh, starting we need some spruce wood Um I was gonna do something like this, but then that means in here, yeah, you don't see any of the dark oak. Hmm, give me a second. I need to reevaluate my plan. All right, so we're actually gonna start with the front of the building, and I want this thing to kind of wrap around, be kind of like an L shape. So we're actually gonna start over here, um, and I want the entrance into this spot uh, to be actually here. Oh, that's weird. Um, so you enter in and then you kind of it kind of opens up a bit. Uh, it's also going to cut right into this here. So it's uh, kind of time to start tearing down the base. Okay, so I need to build this off camera. I'll bring you guys back once I've got a, a build going. All right, dude. So I've done quite a bit of progress. I've got something that I like. Bam, this is what we got. So I am utilizing something I wanted to for a while and we're using trap doors for the wall. Now, otherwise we would have had to put a block here and which means that this would be our, our only space. Um, like this would only be a one by two area, one by three area that we could put the bed in. But with these, the, the trap doors, it now becomes a three by three area. And then we're also going to be putting these spruce trap doors. Now I actually think I'm gonna switch this out for dark oak 
just because the contrast would be a little bit better. Um, so I'm waiting for more of those to grow over there. I hope they grow up soon so I can mine them. But yeah, I am absolutely loving this. Now we do have a basement down here, which is where we're going to put all of our tech things. I'm also going to have us uh, like a cool way to get into here. Uh, and then we're probably going to knock this down maybe a block or two as well. And then we'll branch off into different directions because for some reason, I always seem to do a basement underground in all of my modded things. I just feel like in the basement is where all of the tech is. And then here, because we have all of these furniture or these, I guess, things, I don't know. Um, we have all of these decorative blocks. I think it looks a lot better. And I think it would look cool if we swapped out this spruce door for a spruce door with glass. Now, unfortunately, we're not able to put the, the door on the stair. Um, it doesn't work, so yeah, it has to look like this. Otherwise, it would look perfect. Now, I could fix it by moving it out one, but then it would look mess up the aesthetic. And then once I have more dark oak, we're gonna have a beam come across here. Um, and then that'll look a heck of a lot better. But I'm really liking this. Uh, I need to put some more of the uh, deep slate there and then patch this in. We can do that, right, meow? There we go. Now that looks better. Um, yeah, so as soon as... Ooh, we got one that grew. Perfect. Let's go ahead and see if we can oops, mine it, chop it down so that we can grow more. Gosh, there is a... I don't know what mod is in this pack, but it allows you to just mine one block for a tree and it does it. Oh, it's so good. It is so good. And it gives you all of the saplings right away. I am in love. Oh, those are too close. Oops, thank you. Perfect. All right, so we got 40 dark oak from that. I believe that's enough to finish up a couple of the areas. Uh, but I'm actually gonna oh, I'm gonna place that block there. That's what I'm gonna do. Just kidding. Okay, I didn't mind that. So we're gonna go ahead and fill these in real quick. We're gonna do this guy. How does that look? That looks good. We might need to fill that in. I don't know quite yet. I'll have to play with it. Um, but for uh, this here, let's go ahead. So we're going to have a beam going all the way up. All right. And then one, two, three. Yeah, we'll have it like this. And then we'll... We'll put some trap doors on the inside of that. Maybe even put some windows in there, and then it'll look a lot better. Yeah. All right, and that's what it's looking like from the outside with those trap doors filled in. Now, I'm going to hang a lantern right here. I think it'll look great. Uh, but, yeah, I am thoroughly loving the look of that. We're also going to be having a second floor up there as well. And if you guys are wondering what blocks these are in here, it's the Redwoods. And I absolutely love this color. I think it ties together so well. And I've also been trying to uh, mix up my build palette uh, for like, videos and stuff like that lately because I feel like I've been kind of stuck in the same kind of, you know, builds over the past couple. Oh, there's a fly. He's going to die. Get out of here. Ew. But yeah, I don't want to be stuck in the same, you know, build pattern, stuff like that. So I'm trying to branch out and just become a, a better builder altogether. So uh, I will probably have to go out to the Redwoods to finish up this. Ah, oh, frick. I need, to, I need to move those chests soon. All right, so that's all we got there, unfortunately. All right, now I'm going to finish up the inside here. Uh, ooh, we do have another a dark oak tree, and I'm also going to get some more spruce trees growing as well. All right, guys, so check it out. I've got the whole thing sealed up now. It's looking great. I am loving the windows, how that, that contrasts everything. The roof is a little bit bare for me. We might need to go back in and maybe mix in some dark oak planks or something like that, or make this kind of sweep down a little bit. I think that would really help. Um, but yeah, our starter base is good to go. We, ooh, check it out. So this even works on the spruce log trees. As you can see, it takes a while for this. And boom, it mines the entire tree. And we even got a little bit of some of the dark oak in there, which 
Might have been a little too close now that I think about it. Uh, but let's mine this guy. As you can see, it's taken a while. I love it. It's great. I just use a diamond diamond axe here. And oh my gosh, it goes through durability real quick. That might do it. Yeah, so I think if I wouldn't have been uh, involved in chopping this tree down, it would have worked a lot better, but that's okay. And when those when those leaves despawn, oof, talk about some lag. But there we go, ladies and gentlemen. The house is built. We have a place to call home that's not just a little shack anymore. I'm going to do some tidying up in here, you know, make it look a lot better than it does now. Like, for instance, doing something like this. Maybe mixing in some coarse dirt or something like that just to you know make it better uh but that's gonna wrap up the episode for today ladies and gentlemen thank you all so much for watching you guys are all fantastic i hope to see you all in the next video take care peace out Bye bye